G'day everyone, it is the Captain. Welcome back to the channel. A big thank you, of course, to each and every one of you that like and subscribe to these videos and you share them around the world <laughs> with all of your buddies, all of your pals and all of your friends. Oh, a big thank you, of course, for all your comments as well. I do enjoy reading through them. Today, we venture to Tennessee to a little town called Collegedale, where the policemen have pulled over a man for speeding. But you're not going to believe this. Mr. Leadfoot believes that he wasn't, in fact, speeding, and the policeman is completely wrong. But we know that this screaming donger is wrong himself because he doesn't like to comply with law enforcement, so why should he comply now? Well, you'll see why. <laughs> Let's have a bit of a gander at it, shall we? Come on, roll the footage. What's going on, man? Hey, how you doing? Pretty good. I'm Marshall Driscoll, College Up Police Department. Reading this off whenever you're coming down uh, Talent Road, I got you at 49 and 35. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do what? I was asking really sure about that because I was going below that. So what I got you at was 49. You got your uh, driver's license, your insurance card, and your registration on you? Do you have proof that you got me going that I got you by radar, man. And I'm, am I allowed to see this? No, we're not. Do, we're not that. doing that right now. You if mean? you want to argue all that, you have to go to court for it. I'm, I'm saying that I wasn't going that. Way. But I'm saying that you are. So I need your information, please. Why is it that I can't see proof? Because it's in my car, and you're not getting in my car. I don't have to get in the car to see it. I need your information. Could you get your supervisor so that we can have? Give proof? me your information, or you're going to be coming out of this vehicle. I can get out, sir. But can give I me your information. I'm gonna turn my video on. Well, this foot job baby has gone and done fucked up, hasn't he? We all know that the only reason that you're racing home, mate, is because there's an Amber Alert that you need to masturbate to, but the copper isn't taking any of your shit. I think you set a new record. Let's check the meter. Oh my fucking God, it's already in the red. This is not a good look for you, good sir. Not a good look at all. It's going to be great for us. Wow. Get out, get out of the car. You can't do that for a traffic stop, sir. 623, stop me now. Get out of the car, man. Please don't touch me, sir. I'm telling you to get out of the car. All right, well, let me turn my video on. I'm going to tell you. Get, you uh, get the hell out of the car. Sir, this is a traffic stop. Please don't hurt me, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm a good kid. Stop. Get out of the vehicle. I'm recording you. This is a traffic I stop. I will tase you. This get out. Traffic stop. Get out. You will be tased. Get out. He said he pulled me over for a traffic Get stop. Get out. To tase me. You can't do that, officer, because I call for your Get out. I have Get my... out. What is the you reason? You refuse to give you information. I told you to get out of the car. I now asked you're resisting. I Get out. Refused. I asked to speak to your supervisor. Get out. Okay, look. I'm going to be honest here. I've never been held at taser point like this fucking zipper sausage is, right? But I'm sure not doing what you've been asked to do might lead to, oh, I don't know, being tased! I think it's time for Mr. Sparky, that's right, the idiot off button, to go to work, because we're going to play a bit of fuck around and find out. Sir, I get out. comfortable. Please get your supervisor. I don't give a shit Please what you feel like. Me. I said get out. Please stop it. Why are you being like this? Is this how y'all really are? Please stop. Uh, this get is out. all on tape. Please stop. Get out of the car. Please don't hurt me. Why get out of this? No, sir. I'm telling you, get out. I'm, I'm telling you that this is not lawful. <laughs> Did you hear the scream? <laughs> Let's see if I can do it. Hang on. This guy is setting P. Barnes records right now. Oh my god. Send him every award that we have in our arsenal. Holy shit. Oh my god. Get That's out! Not lawful. Get That's out! That's not lawful. Get out! Get on the ground! That's not lawful. Get on the ground and you can taste again. Okay, but I have my life. Get on the ground! That's not lawful. Get on the ground! That was not a lawful. Get thing. on the ground! Please help. Get on the ground. Please help. Get on the ground. I'm on the ground, but that's not lawful, sir. I have my license. Put your hands hand. behind your back. Please stop. Help. Please. Please help me. Please help me, Lord. This is not right, sir. I had a right to ask for a supervisor because you, you 
That's not right, sir. I have my license in my hand. Stand up. Please help. I can get up, sir. But you don't have to do all this. Why? Isn't it funny how once you've been tased, your license just appears like some kind of bullshit sovereign citizen magic? It's unbelievable! It's like the worst magic trick on the planet! Hey, I tell you who does like fucking magic? Alexander Dudario. She loves magic! Oh my god, I did this trick the other night with me tongue, right? And I was getting there. Look, look, I'm probably going into a little bit of personal detail here. I'm, I might just stop it there. Use your imaginations. Why did you have to do this? I just don't understand. I'm a real good person. I'm delivering a DoorDash that goes right there. That was unnecessary. You're right, it was necessary. No, it wasn't, sir. I told you to give me information, you refused to comply. I didn't refuse. Yes, I, you did. I, no, I asked a question. I am allowed to ask you. I need help. <laughs> good, thank you, sir. That wasn't right. That was not right, sir. I'm, I'm delivering a DoorDash. I'm good. I'm a good person. You can't pull me out of a traffic stop, sir. I never refused. That wasn't right. I have no radio signal. Let them know. Taser deployed in warning custody. That wasn't right. Good work, Scooter! Now some poor bastard's gonna miss out on their bloody Arby's bag full of fucking shit fuel, and it's all your fault! And this poor cop has had to go and drag the chaplain in on this! Oh, her god's gonna be so upset, because now it's gonna have to fucking write a witness statement, it's probably gonna have to testify in court. Good work, dickhead! Oh, top marks to the uh, civilian there, keeping an eye on the game, going, look, I'm going to keep an eye on the game and fuck around and find out. I really want to play myself, but it seems like it's just a one-on-one -on -one game, and that's okay, but maybe you can give me a pass for next time you, uh, you play the game and I'm in the area. Happy to jump in and just be on the team. Even if you just require some water, happy to be the water boy of the, uh, the official fuck around and find out of our local town. so wrong. Like, what happened to you today? That wasn't right. I'm not going to sit here and argue with you. I, no I told you to give me your information. I you didn't want to comply. Then I'll tell you to get out of the car, to, and then you don't want to get out of the car. I have my license in my hand. They should be sending somebody. I asked, I asked for the supervisor, ma'am. And you you taste me because I asked for you. Because you refused help. to comply, because then we're resisting arrest. I asked for your information. You're scaring, you put I'm me not out the car. I asked for help. My information was in my hand. And you were refusing to give it? I did not refuse. Yes, you I, did. I asked for your supervisor. I asked for your supervisor. Why am I not allowed to ask that? Because we're not doing that. When I give you a lawful order, you have to follow it. You have to uh, abide by my request. I didn't feel I do not have to abide by your request. It's a request. I don't feel comfortable. We're in the middle of a stop, and I'm telling you, we're give me information. In the middle of the road. This is where you stopped. I could have kept going, but I don't know where to stop. I was so wrong, and you tased me. I've never gotten in trouble. I've never thank you been, for stopping. I've never done nothing. Uh, thank you. That was so wrong, sir. That's so wrong, sir. Uh, no, dickhead. You know what's wrong? It's the fucking group discount that your mum has to offer when she's walking the streets. Look, don't get me wrong more the merrier. But I draw the line at 10 players. Honestly, she used to fuck for bricks and those bricks were used to build your fucking childhood home. I've never been tased, never been treated like this. I'm delivering a DoorDash and I was not speeding. You're fine, sir. I 
was wrong. What's the problem? Uh, I, he pulled me over for a traffic stop. I asked, could I see the the sprint speedometer? He, he said, no, I'm, I'm not allowed to let you into my car. I said, that's fine. I don't feel comfortable. May I have a supervisor? He yanked me, he pulled my, first of all, he opened my door without my consent, pulled me out of my car, tased me while I'm in the car, and said I'm, I'm not abiding by his, his request. I have my license in my hand. I just asked for a supervisor and he got upset. That's not, that wasn't right to be tased and treated like that. You didn't have to yank me, yank me on the ground or tell you. You didn't have, have to, to not follow orders. I didn't resist. Not follow your orders. I asked to speak for a supervisor. Because while you I wanted to see the radar. Because I didn't feel comfortable. We stopped on the middle of the road and no, I didn't feel. Were didn't, you speeding? No, sir, I wasn't. That's why I told him. I, I don't believe I was speeding. Well, now you got bigger problems. And that's not a problem. Where, where is he taking? <laughs> <laughs> well, now you got bigger problems. <laughs> I love this dude. <laughs> I tell you what, the chaplain spoke to the big fella upstairs and he sent the whole fucking station to deal with this fucking future jail currency, didn't he? Oh, by the way, it's called a radar, right? It's what detects speed. The speedometer is in your car that tells you what speed you're fucking doing, dickwit. That was, I was uh, incorrectly. That was on that side. He takes me while I'm in my car for a traffic stop. You can't do that. You can't pull me out. It's not why you, you were can't tased. treat me like that. I asked for your supervisor and you, you went crazy. Like that wasn't fair to me. That wasn't fair to me at all. You, grab that you can't do that though. during a traffic stop. <sighs> you can't do that during a traffic stop, sir. Just one probe in the side. I don't see the other one. Are any of you all his supervisor? Yes, sir, we are. We'll talk to you here in just a minute. Let's get this thing cleared up. I got one of thing, too. That was ridiculous. I don't know what else. I don't see it. Oh, right here. <sighs> you never had to do a tase. I'm a good person. White paper. You got one? Just drop it. Drop it. I told him I didn't, I don't, I wasn't speeding. I'm on my way to do a door back there that's a half a mile up. You guys back in all this stuff? Uh, you already been running all this? I'm not running. Excuse me. Um, as far as what well, I was right, talking about. Hold on, hold on. Before you, before you start, you have the right to remain silent. You can say cannabis and you can the law. You have the right to an attorney. You can't afford one be appointed for you. You understand those rights? Boom! Arrested! I love everything about this encounter. Everything. I love the fact that the bloody cop tased him. I love the fact that the chaplain was involved. I love how everyone from the station, including the work experience kid, turned up to have a fucking bit of a watch. Everything. But officers, you might need to stop conveying with this bloke, I reckon. I reckon he's reached the level of intelligence of a baked potato and his brain has shut down. You know what? It's been a while since we've done this, but let's have a look at Coach Cam and see how the game unfolded. Okay, having a look from Coach Cam now, we can see exactly what's being played. We see that Mr. Officer's got his taser right there. Of course, Mr. Spark the idiot off button. And he's saying to the guy, look, I don't want to have to do this, but I will if you, uh, if you insist. Happy to shoot two metal prongs straight into your chest, and it's going to be fun for you. It's going to be fun for me. It's going to be fun for everyone that watches this video. No, I'd much prefer to go fisticuffs first. He says, all right, no problem. Let's see if I can get you out of the car just by using brute force. And the guy's like, you can't. I'm actually wearing a seatbelt, and that keeps me fairly well restrained in the vehicle. The cop goes, but if I fire two of these bloody prongs straight into this part of your body, I feel like you're going to come out of the car. In fact, three, two, one. Ah! Oh my God, Get that's out. not lawful, Get sir. Out. That's not... <laughs> <laughs> it's just as funny the second time around, isn't it? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Sounded like he was choking on some balls. <laughs> oh, 
I love it. I love everything about this video. This has been a fun video. But on that note, that is the end of this video. So, a big thank you, of course, again to each and every one of you that like and subscribe to these videos and you share them literally around this wonderful planet of ours. We've got people from Norway, the UK, the United States. We've got people in Mexico. We've got people in Guam. We've got people in Botswana. I tell you what, there is people around this planet and we are thankful that each and every one of them enjoy laughing along with us. There's a big family out there for all of us. Isn't that nice? We're all part of one big community and I couldn't be prouder. Now, that's it for me. I've got to get going. I'm actually going for a bit of a skinny dip in the local billabong down the road here. It's going to be a bit of fun because it's a bit chilly out there, which makes it look fairly average size when I, uh, when I go skinny dipping in the cold. Oh, I'll tell you what happened. A few years ago, I went skinny dipping in um, fucking uh, Loch Ness in Scotland. Yeah, yeah, I'm laying on my back and someone yelled out from the shoreline, Look out! He's got a big penis! <laughs> Alright, alright.